I think Christmas it's a celebration of love, and I can't see Christmas without Michael or Michael without Christmas. Raised as a Jehovah's Witness, Christmas, that joyous holiday so many of us take for granted, was one of many that Michael was never allowed to celebrate as a child. When we think about how often Michael told us he never had a childhood, we usually interpret it to mean the hard work he was forced to do in show business. And that was a big part of it, for sure. My, my childhood was completely taken away from me. There was no Christmas, there was no birthdays. It was not a normal childhood, no normal pleasures of childhood. Those were exchanged for hard work, struggle and pain. Finally later on in 1993, Elizabeth helped Michael celebrate his first Christmas. And Elizabeth is one of the most loyal, loving, caring people that I know. She decided to transform Neverland into its first Christmas because I, I don't celebrate Christmas. But think about the child who is eventually old enough to realize that every house on his street is lit at a certain time of year except for his, which remains in the dark. Or the child who is one day old enough to realize that, at a special time of year, all the other kids in the neighborhood get really cool presents to show off, but he never has any. Jermaine Jackson's book You Are Not Alone, Michael, Through a Brother's Eyes contains a poignant passage describing what the Jackson children often felt in their tiny house on Jackson Street every Christmas. We observed all this from inside a home with no tree, no lights, no nothing. Our tiny house, on the corner of Jackson Street and 23rd Avenue, was the only one without decoration. We felt it was the only one in Gary, Indiana, but Mother assured us that, no, there were other homes and other Jehovah's Witnesses who did not celebrate Christmas. But that knowledge did nothing to clear our confusion, we could see something that made us feel good, yet we were told it wasn't good for us. Christmas wasn't God's will, it was commercialism. In the run-up to December 25th we felt as if we were witnessing an event to which we were not invited, and yet we still felt its forbidden spirit. At our window, we viewed everything from a cold, gray world, looking into a shop where everything was alive, vibrant, and sparkling with color. Where children played in the street with their new toys, rode new bikes, or pulled new sleds in the snow. We could only imagine what it was to know the joy we saw on their faces. I've read many times that Michael did not like Christmas, based on our family's lack of celebration. This was not true. It had not been true since that moment as a four-year-old when he said, staring at the White's house, when I'm older, I'll have lights. Lots of lights. It will be Christmas every day. It was not a normal childhood. No normal pleasures of childhood. Those were exchanged for hard work, struggle, and pain. And eventual material and professional success. But as an awful price, I cannot recreate that part of my life. I was really little. Uh, when I was 11 and 12. I was under contract with Motown, and and I would have to go to the recording studio. I had to go. And right across the street from the recording studio was a ballpark. And I could hear the kids, you know, the roar of the crowd, and playing and catching a ball and having fun and playing tennis. And some of those times I so passionately wanted to just go over there and just play a little bit and not go to the recording studio and sing just to, you know, have some fun with the kids, and I couldn't. Moreover, they also had to record the Christmas Songs album in 1970. Think how difficult it was for little Michael and his brothers, who were not allowed to celebrate Christmas to appear addictive and joyful singing Christmas carols.
and I'm gonna tell my daddy. Then I saw mommy take a sad to glass underneath his bed so snowy white. Michael also in 78, he lent himself for the umpteenth time to act shortly Christmas sketch. Michael Jackson, Sesame Street Christmas Special 78. Never mind, you can have this book gratis. Yeah, but can I have it for free too? <laughs> that too. Merry Christmas. Hey, well I won't go that far, but thanks pal. See you later. Bye. When he quit being a Jehovah's Witness, I, I said to Michael, I think Christmas is a wonderful way of celebrating love. It's a celebration of love. And I can't see Christmas without Michael or Michael without Christmas. <laughs> she decorated the entire house. That's yours. Santa King. Santa from Bel Air. <laughs> Santa from Bel Air. Can I open it? Sure. At the same time, it's exciting. I feel guilty too at the same time. Ooh, love it. I do that one. Yes, I'm putting it on right now. I remember going in the bathroom crying later. Because I felt I had done something wrong. Because I was raised not to ever celebrate it. Even though Michael celebrated every Christmas post-1993, there are still some who insist it was more for the sake of his children, and in the interest of fellowship with his close friends, than for himself. Michael wanted his kids to experience all of the joyous occasions he had been denied as a child. Birthdays, Easter, Halloween, and, most of all, Christmas were celebrated openly and joyously in the Jackson household. But his makeup artist Karen Fay has stated that he would still often hide in the closet to wrap gifts, and that he never got over feeling awkward when wished a happy birthday. Michael Jackson, Sesame Street